good afternoon and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces, guys. I, have, <laughs> I just got back from um, my cousin's birthday party and, um, well, not too long ago. Um, but I have like got my hair, I had my hair, well I had it in a ponytail, but I think I'm gonna pull it back up, but it's all like windblown because we were driving with the windows down in the car and then I was laying out in the living room on the couch, so yeah, it looks a mess and my face looks like I need to go wash it too. Um, but guys, yeah, so we did that today. I honestly, guys, I woke up pretty late today and then ended up, um, I... Uh, ended up actually at Target to get, I think I told you guys, wanted to go and get my new TV. Um, so I went and picked that up because I still have my old TV that's up on my wall right now because um, I can't give it to Matthew until I find the feet for it. Um, which I seriously guys have like practically torn the entire house apart right now trying to find it. I thought, I really, really, truly thought it was up in the attic. And I think that's still where it is. But then I remember thinking like, oh, maybe I'll put it out in the garage with like our electronics stuff. Um, not like electronics, but like anything that has like to do with wires or cords or cables and stuff like that. And like we even kept the base for the um, other lights that are on the fence posts outside. We kept the, because they're different size bases you can use. So they give you a whole bunch of different size ones. And I was like, let's just put it with those in case. I don't know we need it for something um if not we can honestly I think they're plastic anyway you can just probably recycle them but um yeah so like that kind of stuff like you know we might keep those so I was thinking maybe it's out there then I was thinking oh maybe I put it under my bed and put it in something and I have the directions and all the instructions and the user manual and everything like that for the tv and I kept that under my bed I have like a box of that kind of stuff um from like you know my computer and you know I think maybe I don't else you know just like instructions or user manuals for like things that I have I think I might have one for my alarm clock um you know just like that kind of stuff so I have that all in like a little box under my bed so I found the instruction manual for the tv I can't find the, like the legs like the base for it anywhere and like I said I can't give it to Matthew until I find that because obviously I have it mounted on my wall but when he goes to school he can't mount it because you can't like hang things on your wall at school so I have to be able to find the feet for him so he can take it with him to school next week. My dad was like, well, why don't you? Because I'm just going to mount my new TV up there since it's the same size. Um, and he was like, well, why don't you just give him the feet from the other one, you know, or the, the base from the other one and let him use that. And I was like, I could if it doesn't work I honestly don't know what to do like I don't know if you can buy replacement legs for them or like um like I said I mean I really don't know what to do with that so um that's why we didn't really have a whole ton of time either in between because we were trying we were honestly looking them for them up until the point we ended up leaving for um the party today so like I said I have to try and figure out where I would have possibly put them um or stash them or like I said it's really weird because I honestly remember thinking to myself I should put them blank and so it doesn't get lost or so that something doesn't happen to them and I remember thinking this specifically because the other tv that I used to have my really small tv that was in my room um that one I had a base for as well and I know I put it up in the attic and it's missing. I've never seen it. Um, and so I remember thinking I'm going to put this wherever so that I think I didn't just leave it like loosely laying around in the attic. I put it in a box or I put it in a bin or I put it in, you know, um, like something or I put it with something else so that this wouldn't happen. <laughs> and sure enough, this is what happened. Um, because like I said, because of my other one and it, th that one going missing, because I think I just left it like loose up in the attic. I went, I was thinking like, okay, I should probably put it somewhere, wherever it is, was my thought process so that I don't you lose it. Because again, I knew after I got it, I was like, I don't know how long I'm going to keep this because I do want a smart TV. And I know Matthew wants a new TV before he goes to school um, because the one he had was just too small and he didn't want it he wants a bigger one so um he like I said he's planning on taking this one to school with him and he's gonna buy it off of me but I he can't use it until we have 
like the legs for it so <laughs> it's literally pointless and I have two TVs right now and one of them I am like I said not even going to be able to get rid of until I <laughs> can get the feet for it um so yeah guys that's the dilemma um because it won't stand on its own you know without having the legs for it and so I was even thinking like oh maybe I put it in like a drawer in my room I've literally looked everywhere and I cannot find it and then I was like maybe I put it in my closet and I've looked through there and I was like I said up in the attic and trying to find it and I just have not been able to find it guys so it stinks the other thing that really stinks right now is that there's a skunk somewhere outside somebody's dog got sprayed or it got hit by a car or like something but there is a horrible stench of skunk that just also stinks right now it smells seriously like so bad um like oh my goodness I'm gonna go take a shower and get this smell gone but um we do have a lot of skunks and they like to hang out in our neighbor's yard for some reason we've me and my mom have went out there a few times at night actually i think i was telling you guys we went out there one time to go like caterpillar hunting to try and find what was eating our plants um and we saw like a bunch of like skunks outside before um there was another one too that i think over father's day or something like that got hit by a car and it stunk horribly too um but yeah there's just we have a, like a really bad skunk problem and it, the bliss got sprayed by a skunk too when she was like a puppy so whenever she smells like skunk like somebody else got sprayed or it's for some whatever reason the skunk has got you know it smells like skunk whenever she smells it she kind of freaks out because she recalls getting sprayed by a skunk when she was a puppy um which was not a very good thing it was actually it was not really funny but it was kind of funny at the same time too because um we were all inside and i think we had just let her out in the backyard you know whatever and um matthew's friend was actually over and he came in and he was like something smells like burning rubber because if you guys have ever like smelled skunk i think and from again what a lot of people have said it smells kind of like burning rubber my dad started freaking out and he's like is there something in the attic that like you know is something burning and was like freaking out and so we were like looking all over the house and stuff like that then my dad's like i hope nothing out in the garage is burning so my dad ended up going outside actually to go and check in the garage to see if it was a you know if something was like burning out there because that's what it smelled like he's like i hope the car is not on fire you know like rubber like the tires were burning or something like that and sure enough we went out there and bliss comes running in and she just reeks of like skunk smell and so it smells like skunk so bad but yeah guys so that was when bliss ended up getting sprayed by a skunk and it smelled like i said <laughs> horrible and that's why like every time afterwards i think when she smells it she ends up getting freaked out because of the like smell you know like she like remembers it smelling like you know and it wind up getting in her eyes and like all kinds of stuff so i think when she still like i said still smells that she is not very happy about it um and she gets like nervous and stuff like that even if she's like inside she'll still kind of get like nervous and stuff um but it smells so bad guys like seriously i hate when you smell skunk like seriously i think honestly somebody ended up hitting a skunk like that's what it smells like or like i said somebody else's animal ended up getting sprayed but it's really close like it has to be within like a house of us pretty much for it to be smelling that bad what do you want <laughs> yes you were but yeah guys and like i said we went to the party today and then tomorrow we've got my other cousin is actually i think i told you guys he's going to work my aunt and uncle are like throwing him like a going away kind of party thing um or congratulations on getting the job kind of thing um because he's gonna be gone actually i think for training i think he said for like six months or something like that and then he'll be um what was I gonna say he's gonna be um gone like after that I think um and then actually like working his job I think <laughs> so um yeah but he will be out of state for at least those next six months and then he'll be out of state as well like from then on with his new job that he got so um 
yeah it's like i said it's kind of sad guys like everybody's growing up and moving away and stuff like that and his sister just lives like in the city in chicago so she's not like that far away but like now he's moving like away and then my other little cousin who um is actually the same age as jack they were like all homeschooled and stuff and now she's going into uh her freshman year of public school in high school and so like it's everybody's growing up like i remember when she was born like i mean i'm it's like Jack too because he's also but like you know it's just like I didn't think that like they were all gonna like they were all little kids like they were gonna get to this point in life you know like I said my cousin who he's a year younger than me and it's like he's gonna be out of state like you know um all this kind of stuff it's just it's crazy how do how do we grow up so quickly guys <laughs> you seriously like they, it, it's totally true you blink and it's like everybody's grown up already <laughs> even though it's like people uh, you know like people that are my age like you know um or like i said like my younger cousins and stuff like that like how does that kind of stuff happen um anyways guys i need to get to bed because i got to go to the grocery stores tomorrow because jack had football practice this morning so we couldn't get there today so we got to go and do that tomorrow i think there's a handful of other things too that might be going on tomorrow errands that we have to run and stuff and then um like i said we have the the party to go to tomorrow but i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys